हेलो गाइस आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी इफ यू हैवंट डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम हाइड्रोस्टैटिक्स चैप्टर 9 द प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट डिटरमाइन द वॉल्यूम ऑफ कंक्रीट नीडेड टू कंस्ट्रक्ट दिस कर्व सो दिस कर्व विल बी कंस्ट्रक्टेड इफ वी रिवॉल्व दिस क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया फॉर एन एंगल ऑफ 30 डिग्री दिस इज गिवन राइट so we can use the theorems of pappus and guldinus that is theorem 2 uh, for volume is we know that volume will be equal to theta that is the angle of revolution multiplied by the summation of r tilde times l this product for a, each segment or each shape in the cross section right so what does this mean is that if we look into this cross section so we can divide it into two shapes right so we can divide it into this rectangular shape this is this will be our area one and similarly uh, this triangle right that would be our area two so this will be our area two so for that to find the volume we have to construct a table so we have to write the area or the shape number so this is our shape number 1 this is our shape number 2 so we have shape 1 and we have shape 2 and then we have to find the area of each shape and this that will be the area and its unit will be in meter square so let me write the unit here this will be in meter square similarly uh, we will find the location of the centroid of each area from the axis of revolution about which we will rotate uh, these two areas or these two shapes to build that volume and then we will take the product of r tilde times area of each shape so we will take this product now the axis of revolution is here this is our axis about which we will revolve these two shapes to get this volume of the concrete now the the area of this rectangle this is our shape one our segment one so the area of this is uh, this is 300 mm 300 into 150 so this this is uh, and we we know that 300 mm in meters will be uh, 0 0.3 meters so this total length in meters is this is 0 0.3 so i will write 0 0.3 into this 150 and in meters this 150 will be 150 divided by 1000 so this will be 0 0.15 meters so we will take the product of this so 0 0.3 into 0 0.15 this will give us the area in meter square and then the centroid of this rectangle will be at its geometric center so we need to find the distance of this centroid from the axis of revolution so this uh, edge of the rectangle is at a distance of 4 meters and then this centroid will be at a distance of 150 mm since the total length this length is uh, 300 mm so this is 150 which is given so this is 0 0.15 in meters so the r tilde for the centroid of this rectangle is 4 plus 0.15 so that is 4 plus 0 0.15 so this will give us 4.15 meters so this is 4.15 meters so the units of this is in meters similarly uh, we can take the, this product this is 0 0.3 let me take this product that is uh, 0 0.3 multiply by 0 0.15 and then multiply by this so that is uh, multiply by 4.15 this gives us uh, 0 0.187 so this is r tilde times l the product of both of these is uh, 0 0.187 0 0.187 and the units of this will be meter into meter square so the unit of this will be meter cube so this is in meter cube now uh, the segment 2 or the shape number 2 is a triangle so we can find the area of the triangle that is 1 divided by 2 multiply by this base which is 150 and 150 in meters is 0 0.15 multiply by this height 100 mm 100 mm divided by 1000 to convert it into meters is 0 0.1 so we can find this area and similarly its centroid will be somewhere here and as we know that in case of a rectangle the distance of a centroid from this apex is always 2 divided by 3 
this is always equal to 2 divided by 3 of this length so this length is 150 and in meters that is 0 0.15 so this is this distance of the centroid from this apex of the triangle is 2 third of 0.15 and from this axis is that uh, distance of the centroid of this triangle will be 4 meters plus this 150 which is 0.15 plus this right so we can write that this will be the r tilde for the uh, triangle will be 4 plus this 150 which is 0 0.15 plus this length which is 2 third of 0.15 so now let's find this this is 4 plus 0 0.15 plus 2 into 0 0.15 divided by 3 this gives us 4.25 so this is 4.25 and now we will take the product of this this is 1 divided by 2 we can say that this is 0 0.5 so we will multiply all of these this is 0 0.5 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.15 multiplied by 0 0.1 multiplied by 4.25 so this is the product of r tilde times the l for segment 2 for shape 2 that is 0. 032 this is 0 0.032 and now if we add up both of these so that will be the sum of the product of r tilde times l of each segment so 0 0.0.187 plus 0 0.032 so this sum is 0 0.219 that is 0 0.219 and now we have this volume equation so according to this volume equation the volume generated by revolving this cross section for an angle of 30 degrees this will be equal to so theta is 30 degrees but we need to have this uh, angle in radians so if we know that 360 degrees this is always equal to 2 pi radians so this will be converted into radians multiply by that uh, summation of r tilde times l of both the segments so that is 0 0.219 so if we multiply this so this is 30 multiplied by 2 pi multiplied by 0 0.219 divided by 360 this gives us the volume equals to 0 0.115 approximately 0 0.115 and the units will be meter cube since the units of this is meter cube so meter cube into radius will give us meter cube so this is the volume of the concrete which is made by revolving this cross section area for an angle of 30 degrees and this is we have determined this with the help of the second theorem of Pappas and Goldiness. so i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comment section if it helps in your learning also subscribe ingenious academy for the solution of such more problems from the statics